Hi guys. Hi, I'm Caitlin. So, okay. One thing that kind of annoys me a little bit, and this kind of gets on my nerves, like, a lot. Well, maybe not a lot, but it, it, it gets on my nerves fairly, I guess, regularly. Um, it's when people who constantly use, like, bad grammar, like, in the sense of, like, they're not, I guess, talking, or texting, or communicating clearly. Like, they always use, like, elite speak, or, um, or they just text, like, badly and poorly. Now, I enjoyed English class when I was in school. I, I was, like, really great at it. Or, not really great, but I, I was pretty good at it. I it was one of my best classes. Like, I got, like, at least A's or B's in it. So, yeah. So, I'm kind of, I guess part of me is a little bit of a grammar Nazi sometimes. So, if somebody is, like, talking like if i i'm talking to somebody and they constantly use like shortened versions of words and like numbers instead of the actual word that they want to talk or that they want to that they're going to use or you know stuff like that and it's just it gets annoying sometimes now don't get me wrong if you're talking to a friend and you use stuff like that and you do use like numbers every once in a while for specific words, that's fine. Because, you know, you're talking to your friend, they kind of understand what you're trying to get at. But if you're talking to somebody you don't know very well and you you and like every sentence you type is like almost unrecognizable because you're using that type of English language or whatever it is that gets annoying because you're sitting there like, because the other person might be sitting there thinking, dude, what's wrong with you? You know, I like with me, I had an experience with this. So with a similar situation once I was talking to a girl and she had wanted me to send her a picture of me. I was just like, no, you know, you just started talking to me. I would like to honestly get to know you a little bit better first before I start sending pictures. So, thanks, but no. But she was just persistent. She kept on asking and was like, oh, it's going to be a secret. Nobody's going to know. And I was just like, dude, really? You're asking me for pictures and I'm already in a relationship? That, that is just wrong. You know, you don't do that. I mean, if you ask, I mean, I appreciate you asking, I guess, in a nice way, but Once I, since I've told you that I'm in a relationship, you should just stop asking. You should just stop pushing the matter because that's just, that's just not right in my mind. But anyway, all the, the entire time she was, we were talking to each other, she kept using like Y-O-U-R instead of 
Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, and I think she always used the number two to actually say, hey, are you, like, if she was asking, hey, are you going to send, are you going to send me a few pictures, instead of the word T-O, she'd put the number two. And, I've, and it just, and for you, like the word you, she put the letter you. And it was just, it got, like, <sighs> her grammar was so bad. And, like, her writing was so bad, I ended up correcting her. Like, every few, like, three sent, like, she typed three sentences, and I ended up correcting each sentence. Almost. I think it just got to the point where I think she ended up calling me a bitch. And I was just like, okay, you know, yeah, I, I can be a bitch sometimes, you know, it's, I think all girls can get a little bit bitchy to some degree. And, but I mean, so it's just, no, it, I mean, I ended up like, blocking her number and it just if that was the end of that I haven't heard from her since I blocked her number which is great but anyway yeah that was my experience with that which is why I'm kind of like ugh, ugh. but yeah so anyway that's kind of annoying now if it's kind of part of your culture or whatever to speak in like, with a little bit poor grammar, or maybe not poor grammar, but just in that, if it's in your culture to speak that way, then I guess that's okay, because, you know, that's how you were raised, da da da. But if you're just, if you're just typing out of, if you're typing all that out of convenience, even though you know the English language fairly well, or at least any language that you speak. If you know that language, like, fairly well, and yet you still choose to type that way, even though whoever you're talking to says speak proper English, or speak proper whatever language, that's just... I don't, I don't know what to say. That's just weird. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Anyway, so that's kind of my experience with that. Yeah, that's one thing I'm not fond of, is people who constantly use, like, elite speak or shortened versions of... language or something slang okay slang is for another video because i mean i use slang a little bit sometimes but anyway that's another video um so thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to subscribe there is a button somewhere up on this bar and if you'd like to get notified of any more videos that may appear just click the little bell button that's right next to the subscribe button so i will see you later adieu